What a day of racing here in Roubaix on the velodrome in northern France because it's Allison Jackson, the Canadian, taking the victory in the third edition of the women's Paris Roubaix, winning from an all day escape, winning a sprint, a group of seven coming here on the velodrome and she won ahead of Katia Ragusa and Martha Trunin and the group breathing right down on their necks in seventh place race favorite and Flanders winner Lota Kapeki that group at 12 seconds back and you have to consider this is her first international win in two years and her biggest ever career win for the 34 year old Jackson winning here a Canadian after last year and an Italian and in the first edition a British rider if we're looking over on the men's side you think back to 1990 when Steve Bauer had the closest ever Perry Bay finish coming second just by a centimeter and then a couple years ago Guillaume Bovan finishing ninth in the Canadian National Championship jersey but for Jackson on the women's side a celebration of this growing race and cementing her place in EF Education Tipco because she's had a couple of rough seasons and to win here it meant a lot. She was in tears after the race and rightfully so. Tears of joy. The 145 kilometer race set off from Danan this morning shortly after 130 kilometers to go. A group of around 11 go free. That included Jackson. That group grew to 18 and that group parts of it including Jackson survived here to the velodrome but it wasn't without a fight because this race takes in some of France's worst roads those cobblestone sectors out there the rough and the tough including all the big ones and it was on sector nine the ninth last sector when the leaders had around two minutes and some change on the chasers behind that included Lota Capecchi your Tour Flanders winner who was riding so well out there. Also in that group, a couple of Trek Sigafredos. Well, it's a Trek Sigafredo rider, 37 kilometers out. Last year's winner, Lisa Longo Bergini, that lost her traction there on the cobbles. She crashed, everybody crashed behind her. We saw Lucinda Brand, her teammate, going over, somersaulting, landing there, including Lota Capecchi, who went down as well. Everybody was muddy, everybody was dusted, and that allowed the group behind them with Marianne Voss, who was caught off guard and in those splits in the echelons early on in the day, everything started to come back together. And when we hit those sectors, I'm talking about the Campon and Pavel, I'm talking about Carrefour de l'Arbe, everything was coming back together. And indeed on that Carrefour de l'Arbe sector, one of the hardest sectors, one of the only three, five star sectors, a tough sector out there. We saw Laura Tomasi take a fall, take a tumble, another big crash out there. But behind those groups were together and they were working. We saw Bastinelli working for her teammate Consoni. Kopecki was in there with Lorena Wiebes. So we thought everything was going to come together even before the Velodrome. We're going to see a big bunch sprint and Jackson wasn't even going to get a chance. Up front, it became whittled down to only seven riders and Jackson was in there as to another dangerous sprinter, Marta Locke. And we could see behind the desperation, they didn't think they were going to catch. It was getting close, but we saw the attacks coming in from Elisa Longo Bergini, 2022 winner, trying to do something with four kilometers out, but nothing could be done. Those seven enter the velodrome here and Jackson, Locke, they were on the front of that seven rider group coming in. It's a lap and a half on this famous velodrome finish line ride over there. And that's where Allison Jackson threw up her arms in celebration, celebrating her career, her biggest ever win in that career, 34 years old, big win for EF Education and a big win for Canada here at Perry roubaix